Hey guys, it's Michelle here from PEI Makeup Artist and I received my September Glossy Box and I'm just going to show you what I've got in mine and quickly give you some of my thoughts on all of these um, sample package companies. So I received this bottle of Sebastian Potion 9 Light, which is a lightweight treatment styler. A treatment styler. So this retails at $20.95 and the size of the sample that we got is 50 mils. I also got a package of 10 of these Biore uh, makeup remover wipes and we also got an elastoplast um, blister bandage thingy here that you can put on like your heel or whatever. <laughs> it's a lot of material for like one little band-aid thing, don't you think? Like, that's a lot of stuff. Anyways, um, and I also got this Fine Food Be Fine skincare. So inside here, this is the package. It's, I guess it's like skincare that's based on food is my take out of what I've read. Um, so we have here this um, single serve night cream with cocoa, millet and rice bran, pore refining treatment scrub with coconut, jojoba, and citrus, exfoliating cleanser with brown sugar, sweet almond, and oats, gentle cleanser with sugar, mint, oats, and rice, and last but not least, warming clay mask with cardamom, arnica, and pomegranate. They're all food based. It's all like they say this is single serve. So it's just like one use kind of um, sample packages. I had never heard of this. I think they're, I think this is new. And um, it says here on the card that they retail between $24 to $30 for one of these products. And the two products that I was actually really excited about in my box are the Krylon lipsticks. I got two Krylon lipsticks. So this one here it doesn't have a lipstick name, but it has a, like a big long number. So this is the Krylon. This is the shade here. It's like a red. It's a kind of like a primary red. A little bit on the orangey. Side. Um, it's a beautiful color actually. Uh, for those of you who haven't heard of Krylon before, it's very well known makeup artist kind of line. It's like kind of like the, I would group it in with the theatrical makeup companies like Ben Nye and Graftobian. Um, Krylon is kind of like the same kind of company as those. So really good quality. They just don't have, I think, the brand recognition and brand awareness of the mass market kind of thing, but it doesn't mean that they're not a good quality. They're actually really great quality. It's just that the um, average consumer probably haven't heard of them. And this is the other color that I received right here, which is a really pretty pink kind of shade. It's actually, it's kind of like a rosy color. It's actually really, really pretty. And um, I'm really excited about getting these two lipsticks. So this is, they must have, um, Yeah, so Krylon did this one because I was wondering why does it say Glossy Box on it if it's Krylon, but Krylon did this just for Glossy Box, I guess. So those are my two lipstick shades. I do love them. I have like a gazillion reds. <laughs> I don't really need another red, but hey, it's all right. Um, I'll take it. And um, the last thing that I received in the Glossy Box is this um, gift card or card of some sort. Uh, for Trend Trunk, and I had never heard of Trend Trunk before. I think it may be new. I think it's, it says it's a mystery card, so I guess you go online and you can find out how much your card is worth. I don't even think I'll bother with it, to be honest. Um, so basically, people have been asking me, you know, what are my thoughts on the boxes every month and blah, blah, blah. And to be very, very honest, the excitement for them for me has has really worn off. Um, I think that 
they're all pretty much have become kind of mediocre with mediocre products. Um, a lot of the stuff that I could be purchasing myself if I wanted it and a lot of the stuff I don't even want and usually tend to give it away. So um, I actually, after this month's box, Glossy Box, I've canceled Glossy Box, I've canceled my Glim Box. So the only two subscriptions I have left now are Top Box and um, the Loose Button Box. And we'll see how um, I get along with those boxes and if the next few ones aren't blowing me out of the water, then I'll probably cancel those too. Uh, I just, it was fun for a while, but um, I guess I'm just at the point where if I want to spend money on products, I'm going to pick what I actually want instead of having products laying around the house that I'm never going to use. So that's what my thoughts are on this month's Glossy Box. So thank you for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.